pretty good, eh? Pretty useful. Oh, it's all happening. Here we go, here we go. Oh, that was wild. Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode. Me and Tremaine are out on the tracks this morning. Early morning walk, looking for a pig. We thought we'd take you guys along for the ride because this is what Tremaine does what, pretty much every day, eh? Yeah. Hunting, loves his hunting. And he's got an Instagram channel, which I'll put a link in the description for you guys. And um, there'll be heaps of videos coming up on YouTube pretty soon. So you can all jump over and check, out, check this out. If you're into your hunting, check this out and i thought we'd slip in a little hunting episode just for you all to get a bit of a taste oh. what's this about for you hunting like oh it's uh, a fucking good sports thing you know you know yeah oh it's a sports thing you know everyone i this you know picking on that so i kind of love it now get the dogs into it every day our dogs pretty love it too right? the dogs love it yeah going out for a walk but most people stick their pigs and then leave them in the bush. Yeah. Then you tend to carry them all the way back. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I bring them back when it's like nice and then fat ones, but... Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I sometimes bring the bony ones too for the dogs. Yep. Mm. When I don't have bloody money to get dog food and that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully I see a good pig this morning. So I'll have a good run again, have a good fun. You've got these two little pups. Yeah. So yeah, what, when I was... When I was down Yarrabah, Tremaine messaged me and said, can you pick up these two pups for me? Here they are, here. <laughs> How good are they? So these are their first walk this morning, learning from the big dogs. But we're coming into the bit of a rainforest here, so I'm gonna shut up. Hopefully we'll stumble across a pig. Have I got some amazing news for all of you. How would you feel about coming on a Wild Reaches experience deep into the Cape York wilderness with me and one of my mates from one of the local communities up there? Now, this isn't going to be easy. This is going to be the true Wild Reaches experience. I'm talking pushing the tinny down creeks, chasing barramundi around, dodging crocodiles, cooking on the fire, breakfast, lunch and dinner, and sleeping in hammocks. The full experience. And I'm going to pick you up from your doorstep, fly you all the way to Cape York, have this life-changing experience, fly all the way home safe and sound. Everything's covered by Wild Reaches. Now, all you need to do is jump on wildreaches.com, fill in your details, follow all those prompts, and it could very well be you on the next Wild Reaches episode. See an animal, animal pad through there. Distinct track. This is where you want to see one because it's nice and clear country. Jerome is saying it's so hard here because of the rainforest to hunt the pigs in that real dense rainforest country. Croc. I didn't see this here the last time I came. See my foot track oh, there? Yeah. He's over um, on top of my foot track. So this fucking. He could be in here. Yeah. So that was a little crocodile track back there. Tremaine said it wasn't there yeah. last time. Last time was just written. Like two days ago? Yeah. yeah so that's the thing guys, we're in far north Queensland. Any river system you're gonna cross up here, pretty much just keep in mind that there could be crocodiles, saltwater crocodiles to way out here in the middle of the bush. Fresh water. But there's still saltwater crocodiles. Just makes hunting that bit more dangerous, hey, for your dogs too. Because the dogs don't know about that, they just take off up a creek after a pig. Should have brought a rod. That's gonna be a little barren in there. These fellas 
that's it you can use for spear rods that's what them old people would have used for spears like the shafts for their spears back in the back in the old days locals probably still do I can hear palm cockatoos. Remember that morning with you heading out to Night Island? Yeah, we saw like five of them there. Yeah, I can hear him up here somewhere. Scrub cook up there. Chaos in there. Well, yeah, I didn't know if a big boar was going to come running out of the grass then or what. So, this is obviously the middle of the dry season. But where do you hunt in the wet when like all the rivers are up? Like, all the swamp country will be underwater. Yeah, yeah. Along the roads and up. On the roads? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Is it easier? Harder. Well, you get luck yet. Yeah, a bit harder, but you get luck yet, you know. Sometimes. Boy, boy, here we go. You see him? There must have been a big mob here last night or something. Oh, here! Look, there's a big boar! Oh! 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 I'm going to stand off with the baler over here. Oh. While these big lugging dogs are coming. Here we go. Oh, it's all happening. Here we go, here we go. crazy i'm bloody shaking because he kept like i was watching tremaine trying to get that spear into him and every time he'd turn to tremaine tremaine would jump back which gave me the heebie-jeebies wow good boy willie that was nuts good boy these dogs just love it he's just standing there keeping real still hey good 
And hopefully the camera recorded it when he spotted a dog. He gave like a big shake, like, all right, here we go. Did you see that? He's like, whoosh, shook himself and then went for, went for the dog. Oh, that was wild. Missy, out. These tasks. That's why these things are so bloody dangerous, eh? <laughs> That's why you got to find a tree. I had my eye on a tree to get behind because the dogs we got here, so there's like two, uh, two balers who find the pig, like you saw, that black one found the pig and was barking, carrying on until the balers come up and, uh, sorry, until the luggers come up and really get a hold of it. There you go, bro. And that's why you got these pups, hey, these pit bulls. Yeah. Because they're going to be the number one holders for me. Yeah, when they get big, they'll be able to hold a big pig like this and you don't have to worry then. You don't have to worry that All right. the dogs are going to let go and the pig's going to come All for right. you. Come on. I'll get a photo of you. That's pretty long with you. He was just walking. I'm lucky he didn't do a run. Yeah. No, but he had his scent right through here. Those yeah. dogs are going wild. How could they did not see him, eh? Lucky Willie come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hole, I know this fella. He learned with Cyrus and Ferry. Now they're gone here to yeah. tap off now and be the leader of the pack. He's done good. Yeah. He's a good boy, this fella. Good boy. Good boy, Willie. Good boy. Hey, stop it now. Stop it now. Let's check if he's fat. Hey, it's not a little bit. Pretty fat, though. Willie, stop it now. Look at these pups, they did good, eh? Especially this boy. Yeah, man. He was right in there. He was right in there, right? Good boy. Good boy. He's seen the first pig. Look at you, girl. you got a bit of blood on you. Yeah, is that good, eh? Oh, is that good? Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. I can see that, bro. Bony. Only, like, only want to check if it's fat. Yeah. Just check the back spines and that feels the back spine is pretty bony. That feels bony though, eh? But sometimes the fucking hands are sometimes they just get getting fat, you know. Will you move now? Will you? So if the pig's fat, you'll you'll keep it for yourself. Yeah. Good job, man. Good job, eh? Mm. See? Oh yeah. He's just starting on the bonus. See, it's just getting fat. Yeah, oh, that's good. a nice fat doll. That's a nice pig. I think we'll keep him. Yeah. Do you carry this whole thing out all the way back? Jeez. That's amazing. So you walk all this most days and you still get pigs. I walk with the weight back now. Yeah. yeah. And talk us... We're pretty used to it, bro, from every day and that shit, you know? Yeah. yeah. Talk us through this thing real quick. Huh? Talk us through this thing real quick. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen anyone hunt with a spear. I got this from, um, got this from, um, you know, Uncle was at the yeah. top of the last night. Yeah. Got it from him, but he got it from another bro from on top, remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, from NPA. Fuck yeah. And, and I'm what? telling him, yeah, I'll get this, I'll put it into use. It's pretty good, eh? Pretty useful. Well, it just keeps you away from the pig, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, especially when they, you know, in a hole and that, or... Yeah. Yeah, thick spot. Just get them with the spear, yeah. Yeah. Or even when the dogs just bail them up and can't pull them anymore. Yep. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? useful, man. Yeah. Yeah, so that spear, normally, if you haven't if you haven't seen hunting, you got to get in while the dogs have got the pig, grab the back leg and, like, lift a leg, and then try and get a, a sticking knife, you know, a short knife, in behind the front leg, hey, into the heart or... Yeah. into the lungs, which is bloody dangerous. So that spear really, you know, makes makes life easier. But once these these pit bulls, yeah. I think yeah. there's yeah. going to be, be yeah, another two coming. When there's yeah. four of them growing up, they're going to hold any pig. <laughs> but you really want to really press on it a bit, sort of piss. Yeah. So that's, that's the pig's piss sack. So what Tremaine's done is put that in the nose of these dogs, these pups, this is the way you train, or part of the way that you train pups, is to get that scent onto their nose that they always know it now. And um, 
like when, like I was saying, when we came into this area, the scent was so strong to me, and that's what that, these pups need to learn. Yeah, Willie, really? more oh, big boy, come on. So we're gonna carry these back to town now? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how far we walked, but... Well, we just got the... <laughs> I'll get the heavy one. <laughs> 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 I'll get the little light one, the light half. Yeah. But it's still a hell of a walk. Back to the house. These pups, oh, the pups boy, did so good. Yeah, good, good boy. Morning action, man. Ah, that's what I love about morning pig, uh, pig, pig, uh, dead, pig hunting. Get to see some action. Yeah. Get, get to eat good bloody meat out. Yeah. Get to see them dogs work, hey? Yeah, I love to see dogs work. Hey? They're bugger though. They're going to sleep the rest of the day, I reckon. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. Man. But they be up and doing the rest of their lives. Yep. Will you now? Will you? Lug all this meat back. Peace. Got a bit of what? We got a bit of play. We're walking on a bit of peace. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. Like, yeah, I won't even take notice. Righty, bro. Uh -huh. Let's go, bro. Let's do it. Look here, bro. This is the other way. If your one shoulder gets sore, oh, yeah. put them on the one side. So when your one side shoulder gets sore, and the other side then, see? Still in them. Come on. Good morning, one, bro. Yep. Yeah. Oh. It's got to be a five kilometer walk back at least. Yeah. That's it. Go, pups. Go, 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 go. That's it. This is hard work. Yeah. Oh. It's hot. Mm. Like it's early morning and it's overcast. Mm. We're about halfway. Pups are doing good. Do you skin it or do you um, burn the hair off? Yeah, we'll skin it. Yeah, we'll skin it so we can pack it up. Bag them up and... Oh, oh. up. All right, back into it. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. yeah, that's it, mate. <laughs> yeah. that. Needed that. Needed that, all right. So we're nearly back in town. Yeah. Last uh, fair stop, eh? Right? Yeah. Woo! Man, bro. Thank you, Paul, man. That's what we need, so refreshing. Oh, how beautiful is this country here? This is Utalangu country. Absolutely magic. Ah, we're back. We're back. What a walk. What do you, what do you reckon, mate? Where can everyone find your adventures? IRG Ventures. IRG Ventures. Instagram. I need to get my YouTube up and running. YouTube's coming. Yeah, coming on. Get it off the running. Yeah, watch that then. I'll do it. IRG underscore ventures on Instagram to see a lot more of this stuff. And comment below. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I don't do a lot of hunting normally. Did years and years ago. But I love being out just out in the bush like that. Especially with Tremaine and the dogs and Yeah, so comment below, let me know what you think. But definitely jump over to Tremaine's page because there's, there's heaps on there. I follow him already and yeah, there's, there's heaps. He lives for this stuff every single day.
it's a big part of their life here is hunting as it always has been with Aboriginal people in Australia and um, you know here Lockhart River there's three main tribes Kukuyau, Wutalungu and uh, Umpala and they were the, the original tribes for this area so today we're on Wutalungu country um, but all, all three tribes have always hunted this area you know that was that was a big part of their life was 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 hunting food you know the women would go and gather the men would hunt whether it was turtle or dugong or wallaby or you know whatever maybe cassowary in the rainforest things like that and pigs obviously weren't here back you know until 250 300 years ago but now there's pigs here and cattle the aboriginal people up here in cape york have, have adapted and uh and this is a big part of their food source now for them and the dogs so yeah, it's pretty cool to be a part of I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. There'll be a few new viewers here because it's a hunting video. So make sure you subscribe because all the footage is up here in Cape York and it's a lot of cool adventures just like this one. So subscribe, like, share it around, jump over to Jermaine's page and uh, I'll see you all next week for another episode. That's a wrap, brother. That way. Yeah, bro. Okay. Yeah. Right. Clean myself up. Pig sweat and piss all over myself. All right, all you OG viewers, from here, we're going to see Jordan. From Lockhart River, all the way down to the Gulf Carpentaria, to Normanton, to catch up with Jordan and uh, head out and chase some big barramundi. So I've got, it took me about 12 hours to get to here from Yarrabah, um, not yesterday, the day before. 12 hour drive um, up through the middle of Cape York to get to here and now a day and a half later, I'm gonna turn around and I have about maybe 15 hours, 16 hours to get down to Jordo. To spend two days with Jordo. All right. I'm going to pack this show up and hit the road. Hello. <laughs> They're going to put us in YouTube. Oh, yeah, hey? Yeah. What's your names? Uh, my name is Tyrell. I said, my, 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 my name is Tyrell. My name is Neil. My name is Tyrell. My name is Nelson. And you all like wild reaches? Yeah. yeah. And I'm um, two days, the twins. Like. Yeah. Ah. <laughs>